All right, well, we are now joined by two of the now former students who helped create this rest stop. You two have now graduated high school. Congratulations. Thank you. So we have Ava Lewis and Sofia Flores from Carondelet High School in Concord. Thanks so much for joining us and being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so this is so impressive just to see this rest station and see every all the hard work that you put into it. I wanted to ask you, what was the hardest part of it all? I know you had to work with a lot of tools. I think it was um, mostly fixing our mistakes because we had to do a lot of things twice and just not getting frustrated when we would mess something up. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. That and like the frame, we struggled a lot with planning the frame and then really executing it the right way. Yeah, well, seeing how far it all came together and just seeing uh, when we talked with Armando, who told us a little bit about why this is something that is needed. What is your hope with this? You created this. It is going to go to farm workers who are going to be working in hot temperatures right now. What is your hope with all of it? Um, I just hope that uh, we can just appreciate farm workers more and they get that someone will pick up the idea at least and just maybe create something a little bit better or just help farm workers in general so that they just feel appreciated for the work they do for us. Yeah, I agree. Just getting back to the people that have given so much to us. Um, and as Sophia was saying, just if other schools saw this and were inspired um, to help out as well, that would be amazing, especially schools in California, since we have such a large population here of yeah. farmers. Yeah, for sure. And when we were there and just hearing from Armando and they're going to be, there's a lot of challenges that they do face. What was the overall experience for you like and hearing from workers like him? How does that make you feel knowing that you were part of this? Oh, it just makes me feel proud to like go to a school where I can even just participate in something like that. I feel like a lot of people don't get the chance to be involved as involved in their community. And um, I just think it's a really like, um, like inspiring um, experience for all of us. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, proud, especially after how much work was put into yeah. it. Um, and just appreciative too, like of everyone, all of the donors who sent in free mm -hmm. stuff so that we can make this, um, all of our teachers, the administration, everyone at Crondola mm -hmm. also who supported us. Yeah, well, I wanted to ask you this because you guys have now graduated. What is next for you? We're talking about an engineering class here. You really learned a lot. What is next for y'all? What do you guys want to do? Well, I'm going to be going into biomedical engineering at USC in the fall. Oh. So, Yes, and then I'm going to be going into aerospace engineering at Davis in the fall. Oh, so. my gosh. Very, very impressive. And just the fact that you have programs like this in your high school that help prepare you for this. Thank you so much. And, you know, thank you for creating something that is very much needed. And we're seeing that really across the state. We appreciate you. Of course. Thank you. All right, Jess, over to you now.